اعوذ بالله من الشیطان اللعین الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمین و صلی اللہ علی سیدنا محمد و آلہ الطیبین الطاہرین المحسومین اللہم صلی علی محمد و آلہ محمد و عجل فرجا So, welcome to um, lesson two of, uh, of book one. We, inshallah ta'ala, uh, will just do a little, a little quick recap um, from last time. And then, inshallah, go on to the uh, lesson for today, inshallah ta'ala. So first of all, we mentioned in the previous lesson, we introduced the learning of the Arabic language and we introduced the word or the stila of Hada. And we showed that uh, how we form sentences by saying <clears throat> uh, can everyone hear me is there some problem with the sound <clears throat> can everyone hear me yes okay thank you yes right. so, okay thank you okay so we introduced the uh, word hada and we introduced how to form sentences in Arabic language. And inshallah, in this lesson, we're now introducing a new word or a new form, and that is dhalik. So hada, we mentioned previously, is this. So when we want to say this is, so and so, that is, this is a book, Hada, Kitab. But when we want to speak about something which is further away from us, when it is something which is distant from us, it, just like in English we say that rather than this. So when we say this is a book, we mean that it's something that's right in front of me. Whereas that is the shelf, or that is the pen, or that is the door, which is further away from me. So this is how we distinguish in English language. And similarly in Arabic, we do the same. So in Arabic, we say hada for something which is near us, and dhalika for something which is further away from us. So in this lesson, lesson Two, which you can inshallah all see on the screen, is Dalika. So, Adalfa Thani Dalika. So, here we have a question and then we have the answer. Ma Dalika. What is that? Dalika Najm. That is a star. And then we have the use of both Hada and Dalika. So we have Hada Masjid wa Dalika Bayt. This is a mosque and that is a house because the mosque is near us and the house is further away. Similarly, in the next sentence underneath, Hada Hisan. وَذَلِكَ حِمَار This is a horse and that is a donkey. <clears throat> now, similar to last time, we also asking, or we are asking the questions regarding how we form questions. Right? We mentioned that there's two ways of forming questions in Arabic. Either you have a sentence and in front of that sentence you put an alif in order to make that into a question. Or you use ma or man depending on whether you're speaking about a person or about an object. So, 
Is that a dog? La, ذَلِكَ قِتْ No, that is a cat. Similarly, مَا ذَلِكَ What is that? Because it's further away from us. مَا ذَلِكَ What is that? ذَلِكَ السَّرِيرِ That is a bed. So now we have <coughs> our sentences and we've got the pictures with those sentences to help us out about what are these things. So inshallah we're going to go around just like last time and we're going to ask you to speak the sentence and then translate the sentence and the pictures are there for you to help you out as to what are these sentences say. Okay. So. <clears throat> so. We're going to start with um, Amina. If you can uh, read out the first sentence on the right hand side of the page and uh, translate it for us as well, please. Amina! I can't sing it. Assalamu alaikum, Sorry, Amina, I had first day start here. He said, I'm not going to no, no problem. No problem. Let me we'll go to uh, Iman. If you could just read out the first sentence and then translate for us as well, please. Okay. No problem. Okay. Right. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Can you read out the first sentence for us and then translate for us to attempt? You can. Okay. Man zalika, zalika imamun. Who, is, yes. who is that? Yes. That is an imam. That is imam. Ahsan. Well done. Mashallah. Excellent. Thank you for being the first one. I know it's not easy to be the first one, but well done. Okay. Uh, okay. So. And then, um, so Fatwa Ghulam saying, if you can do the next sentence, please. Azalika Kitzon, Lazalika Kalbun. Yep. Um, yep, go on. So is that a um this is a dog? Okay. So just to do it from the beginning, the sentence. Azalika kit. Yep. La Zalika Kalb. Right. So in English that would be is this a cat? No, this mm. is a dog. Mm. Okay, well done. It is that because we said Dalika means that. Okay, I said well done. And then if we have Hassan Jafri to do the top uh, uh, sentence. Mahada has a hajarun. Mm hmm. And uh, 
what is this? This is a stone. Ah, sent to order. And then we have one uh, last sentence remaining. We have one last sentence remaining, inshallah. And can I ask um, Qasim Ali to do that top one on the top right hand corner? Hello, can you hear me? Okay. No problem. Can we have Raza Mir uh, to just do the top sentence? Hada Sukkarun Wahad Wadali Kalaban. If you just read it out and then translate for us and see, tell us what it what it means, please. This is sugar and that is milk. Ah, Santi, well done. Thank you so much. Right. So, in this lesson, we learn um, four new words. And we've got the list of the words there. And they've given us the pictures for those words as well. So that we identify, uh, we identify them as well. I just want to remind you that uh, in Arabic, um, things are written from right to left. And in English, obviously, we write them from left to right. So when we're talking about um, the first thing, we mean the uh, the thing on the right hand side. So, for example, here in this on this slide, sukkah is the first uh, one, or imam up here in the top. So that's the first one which we are being, which we're referring to, because we start reading from right to left. Okay. Now, regards to Tanween, the question that's been asked is with regards to Tanween, that we have the Tanween at the end, Imamun, Hajarun, Sukkarun, Labanun. Now, in this regard, we, um, you'll learn this further on, inshallah, uh, as we go along. But sufficient to know for the time being is that when it's mentioned in the middle of the sentence, then it is, uh, then you would pronounce the tanween. But when it's at the end of the sentence, then you uh, do sukut on that letter and you don't pronounce the tanween. So, for example, when I'm saying hada imam, I'm going to pause, therefore I'll say hada imam and not hada imam. But when I'm saying, for example, Dalika Baytun Wahada Masjid, then on Baytun I would pronounce it. I hope that's clear the difference between. So if it's in the middle of the sentence, then I'm going to pronounce it. But if it's at the end of the sentence, if I'm ending, if I'm going to pause at that at that point, then I will not pronounce it. So hopefully that's clear. So these are the four new words that we learnt in today's lesson. Imam. Hajar, Sukkar, and Laban. And we will go in the order of the pictures. So we have Sukkar, which is sugar. We have Laban, which is milk. We have Imam, which is Imam, prayer leader. And we have Hajar, which is stone. So in this lesson, very straightforward and very short and sweet. In this uh, lesson we learned the 
two words from Arabic grammar. We learned dhalika and we learned wa. Dhalika means that and wa means at. So the example that you gave, hada bayt wa dhalika masjid. Okay. So there's two uh, things we could say, we, or two ways we could say this. We could say, Hada baytun wa dhalika masjid. Or we could say, Hada bayt, pause, wa dhalika masjid. Either of these two is correct. So we have a note, and we have mentioned this note previously as well, that when we talk about Hada, we also pronounce it with the alif and similarly with dhalika we pronounce it alif so it is actually dhalika but it's written without the alif wa is written close to the second word that it is connecting with so here we've got the vocabulary there is a translation for you as well imam is imam hajar is stone sukkar is sugar laban is milk so this is what we we ask you to do inshallah ta'ala and uh, it's very easy and quick and simple for you which is to write these sentences which are now on, on your screen right now and you just need to write them and write their english translation uh, underneath them that's what you need to do inshallah ta'ala that's the Last and summary of uh, today's lesson. If there's any questions, you can uh, ask me the questions, inshallah. Uh, otherwise, anyone uh, conclude for today? I hope that uh, everything clear. Love and his milk. Yes, thank you, everybody who's uh, already replied. Um, those of you who joined us today for the first time, please uh, make sure that you go through lesson one, um, which we already um, discussed because that's important to learn harder and go through the exercises. If there's anything that you don't understand, which is not clear in that, then uh, please, uh, message email the link that you signed up from so that we can make sure that this exercise um is clear and apparent for all of you inshallah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all for this um, struggle and this effort to learn the arabic language in order to understand holy quran and understand the uh, words of Masumin alayhi wa salatu wa salam. We'll just do, because we do have uh, time remaining, we just go through the, we will just go through the slides uh, or the summary for lesson one as well, inshallah. So, in lesson one, we learned the use of the word hada. Okay. We learned ma hada. What is this? Hada kitab. This is a book. And then we learned that if we want to turn that sentence, which is a descriptive sentence, into the sentence which is asking a question, we just put an alif in front of it. So we say, Hada Kitab, this is a book. And when we're asking a question, we just put the alif in front of it. So we say, Ahada Bait, is this a house? La, Hada Bait, yes, this is a house. Or, La, Hada Masjid, this is a masjid. And when we're asking about what we say, ma hada, 
But when we're asking about who, we're talking about a person, we say manhada. Okay, so this is the difference. These three things that we're learning. Mahada, what is this? Manhada, who is this? Hada kitab, this is a book. Ahada bait, is this a house? Naam, hada bait. Yes, this is a house. La, hada masjid. No, this is a mosque. So this is, this is the summary of what we discussed last time. Talking about Hada, as we said, like we mentioned about the Alika, is written without the Alif, but it's pronounced with the Alif. So Hada and the Alik. Okay. There's no word for, in Arabic which corresponds to is or a, but we, um, obviously use them in English, so therefore when we translate, we uh, use those uh, words. Of course, the Tanween, which is at the end, is denoting the A in the As we said, by placing an Alif in front of the sentence, we make it into, or statement, we turn it into a question. So, Hada Bait, Ahada Bait. This is a house. Is this a house? This is the way that we learn uh, those things now we learned in lesson one lots of different words so we're mentioning them there um i just quick uh, show of hands please that everybody has this pdf um they have access to it inshallah um, if you do not please <coughs> please let me know so we can make sure that you have access to this PDF. Yes? Awesome. Okay. So, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, message the PDF to, to you all so that you have the access to that PDF, inshallah. Bear with me a second. Right. So while I'm just getting the PDF up, inshallah, just want you to look at the screen where where we've got the uh, the list of vocabulary that we learned in lesson one because there's a lot of vocabulary so it's important to have those things uh, those words in front of you because as we go further on these are the words that are going to be used of course new words will keep on being added but these are the words that will be repeated in every lesson. So we need to make sure that we know these words. Okay. So whilst that is loading. Okay. Right. Okay. So we will have send you the PDF here.
Okay, so I've sent the link there for everyone so you can see the PDF and we've got the link of these uh, words, this vocabulary. So this is the vocabulary, like we said, it's important for us to know these vocabulary because all of these words are going to be used further on uh, as our lessons progress. So first is bait, which is house. Walad, boy, masjid, masjid, student, talib, student, bab, door, rajul, man, kitab, book, tajir, merchant, qalam, pen, kalb, dog, miftah, key, qit, cat, maktab, writing table or desk, himar, Donkey, Sarir, Bed, Hassan, Horse, Kursi, Chair, uh, Hassan, uh, Horse, Kursi, Chair, Jamal, Camel, Najm, Star, Deek, Rooster, Kamis, Shirt, Modaris, Teacher, Tabib, Doctor, Mindil handkerchief. Okay, so you are inshallah, you all got the link for the uh, for the book, and this is very important that you go over these words, learn them. As you see in the beginning lessons, you'll have pictures to associate with the words, but as we go further ahead, there'll be no more pictures, it will just be words. So the course will expect you to know these words and know their meanings and know how to use them and where to use them inshallah ta'ala so we're going to pause there inshallah ta'ala and conclude our uh, lesson for today again if there's any questions please let me know uh, now that you all got the pdf uh, so please uh, go through this and inshallah before next lesson if you have any questions please make sure you let me know so that inshallah we can go through those questions and uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you all successful in this cause to uh, learn the Arabic language and to understand the Holy Quran and understand the Masumin alayhi wa salatu wa salam in their own Words. Thank you very much.